Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Junior and Chill here. I'm going to have a guide here to help people to get through Abyss 1 through 3 so that you can unlock Shangling. I know people have been having some issues potentially getting through some of the early parts of it, maybe understanding exactly what's supposed to be happening inside of Abyss. So I actually have it where I showed you how that I do the gear, what kind of characters I'm going to use. I'm going to use like the super basic free-to-play characters and all the weapons that you would normally get by playing the game. Like nothing, nothing from pulling any kind of uh, summons or nothing like that. Just straight up, very simple, straightforward stuff. So hopefully this guide will help you out. I know it's a little longer. I should add some like little sections in there. So hope that that works out for you guys. Enjoy. All right. So anybody that is wondering here, guys, we are doing a thing where I was, you know, I, we're going to go through the first three abyss floors. I know some people might have some issues with it or like you want some like pointers and stuff like that. I'm going to use like literally the starting characters. We're going to use main character. We're going to use Kaya. We're going to use Lisa and Amber. That's it. I'm going to use like weapons and pieces of gear that you should have. Like when you get to a, this point of the game, you should have this bow. You know, you'll have like you'll be able to get this book. You can craft it. And make sure you get the four stars if you can. If this right here, this flay blade, you should be able to get this, and you should be able to get a bunch of copies of it at the time you get, you know, get to the abyss to be able to make it strong. It's a really strong ass weapon. And then you also have the ranker. You start out with this anyways. So I'm not going too crazy with the weapons. I'm trying to like find the crappiest gear I have that's not leveled at all. So I'm kind of like hardcore handicapping myself to like be as close to what you should have or you would have. I know like some people are like, oh, well, I don't have that many purples. Well, most likely all blues that will be leveled up. So you will like, be better off than I am because this is nothing like these stats are so small. It's not worth. So I'm just trying to like put some stuff on there. I'm pretty sure I can get through all this stuff. We're gonna try it out anyways. I did it before with like less gear. So like I should be fine. I should be fine. But this is kind of like an idea if you're wondering like, what did I have? I just grabbed some stuff. I try to get sets that you would have early in the game, like the Berserker, Instructor, Exile, Martial Artist set and stuff like that. Like these are things that you will be able to you get your hands on to very early. This is a very free to play um, kind of like gear setup so that you can potentially do your abyss very, very early. Yeah, and like a lot of people started out with like, you know, gold pieces from like, you know, the Twitter events stuff like that. So like it should be completely fine. So the idea here. So we're going to go into these fights. If you wanted to see like what you're going to be running into, it's going to tell you, hey, there's a Leyline Disorder, AKA this is what kind of buffs are on this floor. So it takes tells you, hey, you want to take a fire character because you're going to do 75% more damage with fire and Overlord, which is the reaction proc, is going to do 200% increased damage. It's crazy. So if you already kind of built up stuff, you'll do insane damage in here. It'll be really, really fun. You can actually see what you're going to fight. You're going to fight a bunch of slimes in the first floor. You're going to fight a bunch of hilly churls in the next one. And you're going to fight some more hilly churls in the Fatui. So it's pretty straightforward. It tells you exactly what you're going to be running into and kind of like what to expect. I left the characters at level 30 because, like, you know, you wouldn't be past 40, I don't believe, at level 20. So it's kind of like what my thing is. You would have Barbara, but my Barbara is like 40, which I could use totally. But if I have trouble, I'll go back and grab her. I'm not going to use her. And then also another character um, that you'll have is Noelle, but I over leveled her a little bit. So I don't want to like. I want to see if I can just do it with 30. I want to try to like this minimum kind of like build. So this is kind of like what we're going to go with. And of course, you're going to do gotcha. You're most likely going to get more characters. So you you should have an easier time with the more characters and the more options that you have available to you. So when you go to each floor, you're going to have like a um, an extra buff you can add to yourself. Some of the things you might like early, you might want to be like, hey, I want to take something like this, like a attack buff, which is really good. But the only crappy part is this only works for this chamber. So like only this particular fight, I can use this buff. If it's a blue buff, that works for the rest of the floor. So this is actually some of these are really, really good to kind of like pay attention to and be like, hey, I want to get like a buff that's going to last me forever. So this one right here, every time I sprint, kicker's damage within eight seconds of sprinting is 20% higher. Use once every 15 seconds. It's actually pretty good. You're gonna need to dodge a lot, so that's not a bad thing to take. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. You're not gonna have as much stamina as I have right now, which that's the one other difference. Most likely you won't. You can. You can. If you go find every single uh like anemo oculus and geoculus, you can get there too. So it's not nothing too nothing too crazy. But anyways, we're gonna go start it off. Baron Bunny is gonna grab a bunch of aggro. I'm gonna go let it light him up real quick with this. And then just kind of start. Going at him, right? 
It's pretty... This is pretty simple. It's just you go in here, you just go fight stuff. Oh, wait, I don't want to use her. Nope. Maybe I can use this right here. Make sure you do reactions. The more reactions that you do, the more energy you're going to get back. And the more options you'll be able to do your um, your bursts more often. So as you can see, Amber just keeps on having her her burst back up, up faster and, you know, more and more often. So that's a like, really, really good character. A lot of people might be like, oh, but Amber's not that great. She's super awesome. And as you saw with the gear I had earlier, I had everybody, like, I just stacked attack. I just took attack and put on everybody, every single character. So, like, the main style I was looking for is just, like, attack. If, I, if you get attack, throw it on them. It's really easy. You don't have to build sets or nothing like that early on in the game. So just kind of do that. It's, like, the, probably one of the most surefire way to kind of, like, get damage early on. Once later on you get further into game and it makes it easier for you to get stuff, then sure, go ahead and, like, you know... Um, go build like actual sets and get like the right stats on the sets and like don't worry about the substats until like super late game when you can like really afford to do it you know what I mean so it's just my suggestion for that so since I wasn't able to use Lisa last time I already have my her ulti or I have her burst whatever I can sit here and react this is really awesome so we're over here just living our best life at this point and you can go ahead and do our burst again. Like, everything is, like, really, really, really quick. Like I said, I have nothing really overpowered on this character. Like, a lot of these weapons I'm using are, like, literally level 1 weapons. You would have leveled up these weapons. Oh, this one's, like, level 40, so, like, this one's a little different. But, like, most of my weapons I'm using are, like, very low... Low level. Go ahead and do that. They're going to have aggro on that right there. I'm going to react with it. There we go. Go ahead and swirl that up. Do bigger damage. It's like they kind of shot showed you in the first tutorial. I think I got a three star on that. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and you can move on. So like it's a lot of stuff is like super simple. And it's just just getting used to like battling a lot. It looks like we're getting more burst damage. You can see what I got earlier. We got the sprint thing where I can sprint and get more damage, but the burst damage or the skill damage and then the burst up. So now every one of my move sets technically does more, which is kind of cool. But this is kind of a fun challenge to kind of get into. Go ahead and throw this over here. I guess I can just kill that guy right there, huh? There you go. And you can kind of get ready with all that fire, which didn't really happen the way I planned it. Where is he going? I have no clue. Sometimes the game, you know, does some weird stuff, you know? There we go. Dead. Oh, perfect. Actually. Go ahead and throw this out there, throw this up here, and then we can go ahead and swirl everybody in here into this fire. Throw her out. You only got to kill the mage. You don't have to really kill the um, the bats, whatever. They don't really do anything. You don't have to worry about it. So three more stars here. You want to make sure you get the three stars for everything. That right there will give you more primo gems and some other stuff too. So it's like good rewards to do. And you're going to go to the next area. Once again, I'm using the same team. We're going to worry about cryo damage. There's more damage now, right? So if you want to take Kaya with you. Um, and then also the freeze duration is longer. So technically, if you wanted to like abuse, like if you're having a, a hard time kind of getting through stuff, take Barbara with you, hit him with water, freeze him with Kaya, and rinse and repeat. And you can leave him frozen for like ever. So also, if you need to do that, there's a uh, achievement that's in the game where you have to like freeze somebody for like 10 seconds. Huh? They freeze longer. Just saying. It's a good place to do it. So 
So I'm going to go on to the next fight. It's going to be the same thing. All those buffs I had last time, they're all reset. And I, now I get to choose my next stuff. So if I'm having issues for whatever reason surviving, I can always do this right here. It's a really good option, but it can always go for more damage if you're confident that you're not going to really get completely wrecked in here. All right. So now that we know that cryo damage just does more here, right? Boom. Go ahead and use it. Go ahead and start doing reactions as much as possible so they can get as much damage as possible. Do some swirls to boost your damage. You can throw Bear Bunny in there. Look at that. She's going to blow up. Perfect. I'm telling you, Kaya, I, this guy, I sleep on him a lot, man, but like, he's good. He's good, he's good peoples. Oh, that doesn't work. Once again, I'm not using Lisa at all. I think I maybe she's better for other floors. That's for sure. But early on, you don't really need her for much unless you're playing against Healy Charles. Oh, once again. Go ahead and send him out. Also, if you see like the slimes jump into the sky, they will be in the air. So keep that in mind when you're trying to be like, where'd they go? You can literally just go watch them. They'll be like in the air. Not that high, though. All right, he dead. Remember, you do bonus damage for ice this floor. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I need to take her off my damn team just for this. Definitely probably want to use like Noel instead for this part, but it's fine. If you don't want to build too many characters, it's perfectly fine. And then like Amber is probably like one of your most safest damage dealers this early game or just throughout the game in general. Um, so you can always like make use of her. So there we go. We got three stars again pretty simple it's like like I said everything I have on is not leveled so like you should be stronger than my characters by a lot like this should be so it should be completely fine like this is like super budget like I didn't spend crap on this build now we're in the water level so remember I was talking about before in another video if you guys were here for that if you watch that video um pay attention to your terrain so some of the levels you go into will have a like a terrain effect or a, a totem which gives another effect now we know that everywhere I do ice is going to freeze. So Kaya, super OP now, right? So I can go over here. Boom, just freeze everybody. Let's let them sit. Frozen. And since they're going to stay frozen for a long time, I can do what I want. You know what I mean? Got to throw this over there. Oh, man. I can work on these guys over here. Oh, I didn't think about the bear bunny. Bear bunny dying. You don't want to get caught by that bubble. The bubble will actually trap you. And it's not pleasant at all. That's for sure. And since everything's water here too, electric will do really well, good here. So if you wanted to go ahead and now finally use that Lisa you've been kind of sitting here with, you can finally do that. And you'll do pretty good. Make sure you dodge that. You could slap like I did, you know? And you're good to go. Go ahead and do that. If you have a Greatsword user, that's a better way to... Um, it'll be a better way to break a frozen person. Uh, than anything else would be. That's only because... The way uh, frozen stuff or the way frozen things work is if you hit it with a claymore, like a, a greatsword user, right? You will just do more damage. This is how that works. Which is that's the mechanic of the game. So it's a really good way to kind of like maximize your damage on a thing. That's why taking that Noel would have been a really good idea because you would have done extra twenty percent damage every time you break a frozen character. I probably got a three star again, so should be fine.
But yeah, just make sure like that particular one, you just like don't let the thing in the middle get hit. There's actually an achievement if you can in one of these floors where like if you can beat it without the thing getting hit at all, it'll give you like a uh, like primo gems, which is kind of cool. So if I was really down in health, I would make sure to do use this right here. If like I want to just do crazy damage, which I kind of do. I'm just going to grab this because I don't really want the sprint thing right now. I think I just want to do like crazy damage. So I'm down for losing 15% defense for 40% attack. Buff. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> What's up? We hitting, we hitting kind of hard, but okay. So the, the weird thing about this right now, right? You might notice like, hey, when you fight these particular characters, um, the healing, the rain heals. So pay attention to that. Like you need to kill those characters as fast as possible because they will actually just kind of screw you over in the long run. If you're wondering how like uh, Lisa works out, you see those like numbers right here on the character. That means that you are stacking that much electro on them. So you kind of like want to get three stacks of Electro, you can detonate it by holding that attack right there. You started free of play? Nope. I just went back to characters I never used. Just for the purposes of a video. Before I level these characters up, I'm like, let me make sure I get this in the video. There we go. Freeze that guy. Now we can worry about this one. Oh, don't get stuck on those. You can get screwed over. So now we're just going to go ahead and do this right here. It's a great little move. Kind of have. Ah, great. Perfect. We can go kill this one right here before the other one gets thawed out. Freeze him again. He gets broken out. You can, uh, if you wanted to, you can swirl this. Keep him frozen longer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like little tricks you can do. You can kind of like mess around with it. Boom. Now he's frozen again and dead. Oh, I didn't do three stars rip. But anyways, you, all the main thing is getting through it. Got halves on, on the second floor. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So yeah, I just want to make sure you get through it. If you don't get three stars, it's completely fine. So moving on to the next one. Each floor will get like a little harder as you kind of go through. So this one right here is big on swirl. So make sure that you keep on using your main character to go swirl the damage. Um, a Nemo damage dealt by all party members is increased by 30, 75%. So like if you had no more Nemo characters, like say if you had Venti on your account or if you had Sucrose or Jean, whatever, you can do more damage. If you like wanted to be like cheesy, you can just run all Nemo characters, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But that's something you could do technically. So you go back over here, you'll get uh, more buffs. I want to go with Ma Elemental Mastery. Elemental Mastery is going to be really good for the fact that you're swirling characters anyways, uh, because swirl scales off of how much mastery you have. So now that I technically I have more mastery, which I can't show you, but like we have more mastery now. looks like we have, we're more stacked on stats, which is really nice, right? So we're going to go ahead and line them up. Go give them a tornado. And now they're just going to go kill themselves for the most part. Go ahead and do reactions right here. Boom. Do that for reactions. And if you wanted to, like, on this particular level, though, if you wanted to, there's no barrier. Normally, it's not like this, but, like, so there's no barrier. I can sit there and just knock them off if I wanted to. You know what I mean? It's kind of pretty cheesy. If you're down, if you're with it, you, can, you know, you can do it. Just know that you can do that. That's the thing you could do. It's not normal because normally you won't. Ha you'll have a barrier, um, but you could do it for this one. So a lot of people like there's like gonna be level like there's gonna be parts of this level where like you might have um, you might have some uh, like the humans you have to fight and they're kind of hard to fight honestly. And so one of the good ways to do it literally is just knocking them off the map. You don't have to worry about. All this stuff that you do so that makes it a little easier cool. 
There we go. More swirl damages. Bye, guys. You carried off the map. Perfect. And then, uh, actually, let's just take him over here. Boom. Bye. They fall off. Okay, cool. I was like, I think the game had to register. Like, wait, hold up. Did this what? What happened? What? This, the thing that happened, it just, we thought just happened right now, and it was like, yeah, it did. It's like mother effort, dude. Kind of funny. Oh, be careful with that too, especially with the ice character or the ice uh, monster. It does uh, drop a bunch of like fog down. It does a lot. So. Ooh. There we go. Blew them both up. Now we've got this one left over. Ready to play account? Nope. Same account. See, what I was talking about earlier. They're in the sky. If you knock off their armor, they'll fall out the sky immediately. They can't jump. So pro tip. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get it back really quick anyway, so. Alright. Got two stars. Like I said, you'll go through, it'll be harder and harder, so you'll get probably less and less stars. As long as you get four stars, you can clear the floor. So that's kind of the the idea is just to go in there and you know get your your stars up. Now this crappy part right here is like I because since I didn't do much like Flowers, if you add, if you level up your flowers in your characters, you'll have more HP. Like, I have really low HP on my characters. So, this is very scary. So, I go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, watch out for these humans. They're really annoying to fight. Honestly. And there's, like, ways to kind of manipulate the fight, though. So, there's that. You can kind of do this. You know what I mean? Push them towards the edge. Oh, my God. Don't die, ideally, right? You can hit them headshots to knock them back too. So he's off the map. You know what I'm saying? Like this is kind of like stuff you can kind of do to manipulate the fight. Because otherwise, this is really annoying, like really bad. So, and once again, if I would have had Barbara with us, it wouldn't be that bad. But I was like, didn't want to take Barbara, so. I would suggest if you have Barbara, which most of you guys will, uh, make sure you guys take Barbara with you. It's going to be really rough. Yep, he's going to take that hit. We're going to give defense debuff, swirl. There we go. Man, homie, I'm going to need you to fall off. Bye. All right, so another weird thing about this one is going to be we're going to do this to swirl it, and that's danger zone. But here we are. You're definitely going to use make use of your Amber's Baron money for the aggro. It's going to be a good idea. And you don't have to wait until they stand up to hit the headshot. You can, if you can uh, aim it, you can hit it. We're in the second floor. Oh man, it's gonna be rough. Oh, oh no! Be careful. All right. Good thing about her is she hits kind of far too. With those guys with the shovel, you know, watch out for them. Uh, they are going to. He's gonna hit you with some some dirt, and you'll get blinded. So it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. So. Probably want to like avoid that as much as you can. You don't have to sprint all the time. I like to sprint. Yeah, fighting humans is like the most annoying thing to me in this game. Honestly. There we go. Kai has like the most health right now for me. 
Let's go ahead and swirl it all up. See what we get. Push him away. Easy peasy. And see, like, there's a wall that went up too, which is kind of funny. Because normally there's a wall that's over you over here. Since we're gonna make use of that, uh, the fact that air damage is more. So, once again, we can go use Baron Bunny here, close to the edge. Hopefully, they come over here, right? And then we want to. Uh, Moving back as far, oh god, as far as back as possible. I guess it didn't kind of work out. They're onto me, I think, guys. Go ahead and react on that guy real quick. Oop. Go ahead and use this. Oh man. Yeah, the, the the range guys, the ones with the the coats on right here, these guys right here, those are the ones you want to get rid of technically. If you were to like choose somebody to like, this person needs to die first, probably that one. Let's go ahead and throw them away. There we go. It's looking kind of good. Go drop this over here. We're getting really close. I don't know if I'm gonna even complete this actually. Are we, are we good? Oh no. Oh, we got it. Whew. That was really close. All right, anyways. We're gonna go to the next floor. We're very low HP. If we have a, uh, a HP refill, we're taking it 100%. Yeah, if you have Barbara, definitely take her. Instantly restore, we're digging it. We need it. We're, we're anemic right now. This last floor right here, you can't knock anybody off the map. But it's fine. It should be okay. You're only fighting these big, big, big Healy Trolls. Just kidding. You're fighting also this right here. And if you dodge towards it, you'll actually dodge through. It's kind of nice. Oh, let's go ahead and do this. So pretty much you just always dodge towards the missiles. Kind of go far away. And then dodge towards the missile. And that's like the best way to kind of deal with that part. In my opinion. Go ahead and do this right here. We're just doing reaction after reaction. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Reactions, you know what I'm saying? And this is how you do like that big, big damage. And of course it'd be bigger damage, obviously, if I would have had, you know. Uh, gear done. So any kind of gear that you guys do will make this fight easier. Because right now I'm like literally level 30s against level 45s. So leveling up my characters higher, which I can, um, and stuff like that will help out. I was just trying to show you like pretty much simulation of like, hey, how's this like if you kind of are playing the game, but not really big enough. Ah! <laughs> oh God. This is like one of the easier combinations of enemies, honestly. There's some really crazy ones later that just kind of suck to fight against. This one's not that bad, in my opinion. Another thing that's good too is remember Lisa, we put the Mappa Mario on, that four star book that you can craft. I put it on her every time she uses her, her burst, she heals the party. So. That's why you saw that burst heal kind of go through. If you're going there, like, hey, how did he heal right now? He has no healer. That's the the pro t hidden tip, you know, tip right there that most people don't know about this. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. All right, cool. We're going to go charge this up and boom, dodge. Good to go. Dodge again. Go ahead and charge it up and it should be about done. We did it. All right, cool. Let's need. Oh, we got three stars. So we got five stars total. That means we pass. We have just completed 
the first three parts of Abyss. This is how you'll be able to do it real quick, easy. You'll have an easier time than me because you'll have higher level stuff, most likely, and gear that's leveled up and weapons that are leveled up. Like literally, you'll just have a better time than I did. <laughs> but as you can see, even with like free to play characters, like none of them are, you know, gotcha characters. These are all characters you guarantee get. All those weapons I used, you guarantee get those. Like, I didn't use anything. The only thing that was kind of weird is, like, like I said, I have the, the artifacts, but the artifacts are not leveled up, so they're really crappy. It'd been better just to have, like, a, a, a green, like, level up four times. Like, that'd have been better than what I had. So, it's totally doable. It's very, very simple. It just takes a little time and practice of getting used to the game and the mechanics, and you'll be able to do the same thing, too. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the video, drop it down below, and be like, hey, man, how'd you do this, or blah, blah, blah. Let me know. I'll go hit you guys up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.